Today we're going to be talking about how to find the unit vector, which is in the direction of the given vector. And in this particular problem, we've been given the vector 8i minus j plus 4k, and we've been asked to find the unit vector that's associated with this vector and is in the same direction as this vector. So the first thing we need to realize is that a vector in this form, 8i minus j plus 4k, is really just the vector from the point 0, 0, 0, the origin, so we'll say 0, 0, 0, to the point 8, negative 1, positive 4. So we take the coefficients, including either the positive or negative sign, on each of these values, i, j, and k, and we put them into a coordinate point. So our x value is positive 8, our y value is the coefficient on the j term here, so that's negative 1. And then our z value is the coefficient on the k term, which is going to be positive 4. So this expression, 8i minus j plus 4k, represents the vector with the initial point at the origin and the terminal point at the point 8, negative 1, positive 4. Now what we want to do is realize that this vector, this vector that starts at the origin and goes to this terminal point here, has a specific length. There's a length to it or a magnitude to the vector. A unit vector is a vector with length 1 or magnitude 1. So if we want to find a unit vector that's in the same direction as this vector, we need to have it pointing toward this same point, 8, negative 1, positive 4, but we need it to be only one unit long. Well, the way that we're going to find an expression for the unit vector is first by using our distance formula in three variables to calculate the distance between these two points, the origin and this terminal point. That'll tell us how long our original vector is. Then we just need to manipulate that distance so that the distance is only one, but we'll keep the same direction. So let me show you what I mean here. We're gonna use this distance formula to calculate the length of our original vector. So we're gonna get distance is equal to the square root. Let's call this point here eight negative one four. Let's call this our second point and call this our first point. So when we have x sub two, we'll take the x value from the second point, we'll take eight. X sub one is gonna come from the first point, zero. So we're gonna get the square root here of eight minus zero, quantity squared, plus here, negative one, minus zero quantity squared plus four minus zero quantity squared and we're going to take the square root of that whole thing. This equation is going to give us the length of our original vector. So we're going to get square root. When we square these we'll get eight minus zero is eight squared is 64. Negative one minus zero is negative one squared is positive one. 4 minus 0 is 4, squared is 16, so we get 16 here. Now if we add these all together, we see that we're going to get the square root of 81. 64 plus 1 plus 16 is 81. So we know that the length of our original vector is 9. We don't have to worry about the length being positive or negative 9 because we're talking about a physical measurement, the length of this vector, and a length can't be negative any more than the side length of a box can be negative. This has to be a positive value because it's distance. So the length of the original vector is 9. What that tells us in relation to the unit vector is that if we want to find a unit vector in the same direction, we just need to multiply this original vector by 1 9th because the length associated with this vector is 9. If we divide this whole expression by 9, we'll get a vector with length 1. So all we have to do is say that our unit vector, let's call our unit vector u, it's going to be equal to 1 9th, here's us dividing by 9, multiplied by our original vector, 8i minus j plus 4 k, like this. So we keep that in there. We've divided by 9, so the length of this vector, were we to find it, would be a length of 1 if we use the distance formula. So what we're going to get as a final expression for our unit vector, we're going to distribute the 1 9th and we're going to get 8 ninths i minus 1 9th j plus 4 ninths k, like this. And this is an expression for our unit vector. You can double check yourself if you use the distance formula to find the distance between the point 8 ninths, negative 1 ninth, 4 ninths, and the origin 0, 0, 
zero. If you use the distance formula to calculate the distance between these two points, you would see that the distance between these two points is equal to one, which is the definition of a unit vector. A unit vector is a vector with length one. So you can always double check yourself that way, but this vector, because we can just factor out this one ninth and end up with this original vector here, this vector still points in the same direction as our original vector. So that's how we find a unit vector that points in the same direction, but only has a length of one unit.